Hello students. Today we will discuss the next method uh, to solve the quadratic equation. The completing square method. We will see the example. x square plus 10x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now to solve these equations by the completing square method you have to check the coefficient. Here there is one condition that coefficient of x square should be 1. Then again you can solve it by completing square method. If the coefficient is not 1, we have to convert these equations in, in such way that the coefficient will become 1. Now we will solve this equation by completing square method. The first step to solve this equation x square plus 10x plus 2 is equal to 0. This constant term we will transfer it on that side. So x square plus 10x is equal to this plus 2 will go on that side it will become minus 2. Now you can find out on LHS there is a binomial. These binomial we are going to convert into the square of the binomial. Now how to convert here only two terms are there. So to convert this into binomial square of a binomial we need third term. To get that third term we have one rough calculations third term You, there is one formula, 1 upon 2, half multiply the coefficient of x and the bracket square. Half multiply, what is the coefficient of x over here? 10. So, half multiply by 10 bracket square. So, you will get the answer. If you will solve it, so 2 1 is a 2, 5 is a 5 square would be 25. Means, if we will add third term in this, so we will get the perfect square. So, add 25 on both sides. So, what we will get it? x square plus 10x plus 25. I have added 25 on LHS. So, same thing I have to do it on the LHS to balance the equation. Minus 2 plus 25. Now see here you will get the perfect square. This is the square of a term x plus 5 bracket square. And here you will get the answer 22. You can cross check your answer. a plus b bracket square use the formula over here you will get the above term. So x plus 5 bracket square is equal to if you solve it here you will get the answer 23. So taking square root. On both the side, here on LHS you will get x plus 5 and on RHS here it is not a perfect square. So here you will have to take it plus or minus root 22. Now to solve it, x is equal to plus 5, transfer it on that side, you will get minus 5 plus or minus root 22 x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus root 23. So, here I will get x is equal to minus 5 plus root 23 or x is equal to minus 5 plus I have taken here. So, minus minus root 23. So, these are the roots of that equation. Therefore, roots are minus 5 plus root 23 and minus 5 minus root 23. Now we will see the next example. Now second example 5x square minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. Again if you observe 5 3 is a 50 and 15 is a factor. If you try to solve this example by factorization you won't get the factors. Now such type of example again we are going to solve it by the completing square method. Now in this method I told you that coefficient of x square should be it. We will divide this equation We 
we will divide this equation by 5. So you will get it 5x square upon 5 minus 4x upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 is equal to 0. So these 5, 5 will be cancelled. x square minus 4 upon 5x minus 3 upon 5 is equal to 0. Now transfer this third term on the RHS. So you will get x square minus 4 upon 5x. This is the binomial we left on the LHS is equal to 3 upon 5. Now there is a time to find out the third term. So how to find out the third term? Third term it is a half of coefficient of x raised to 2. Half into what is the coefficient of x? 4 upon 5 and that would be the negative 4 upon 5. Here you can cancel it. 2 1s are 2 twos are so here minus 2 so you will get the answer minus 2 upon 5 bracket square that means you have to you will get it over here 4 upon 25. Now this term we have to add on both the side of this equation number 1. We will add 4 upon 25 on both the side of the equation 1. So this is equation 1. I will add 4 upon 25 on both the sides. Here this will be this is the perfect square of the number x now negative sign x minus 2 upon 5 bracket square. Here if you will observe the denominators are not same. We make the denominator same to make it. I will multiply this equation by uh, denominator by 5. Same. I will multiply here by 5. I will get 3 pi the 15 plus 4 upon 25. What is it? Your x minus 2 upon 5 bracket square is equal to it here you will get 19 upon 25. Now we are going to take the square root on both the sides. So taking square root. So we will get it x minus 2 upon 5. On this side, on, on RHS, we will get plus or minus 19 square root would be 19 and 25 square root would be 5. So, root 19 upon 5. Minus 2 upon 5 transferred on that side. So, x is equal to 2 upon 5. Negative will become positive plus or minus root 19 upon 5. So, therefore, roots r x is equal to x is equal to 2 plus root 19 upon 5 and x is equal to 2 minus root 19 upon 5. Okay, so you can write at last the roots are root 2 plus root 19 upon 5 and 2 minus root 19 upon 5. Now we will see the third example. The third example 5x square minus 4x is equal to 7. Again the coefficient of x square in this method it should be 1 but here there is a 5. So we will divide this equation. Divide given equation by 5 so we will get 5x square upon 5 minus 4x upon 5 is equal to 7 upon 5. 5 5 cancel so x square minus 4x upon 5 is equal to 7 upon 5. Now in this equation the constant term is already on the RHS so one step it will be reduced in this. Now we will find out the third term. 1 upon 2 multiplied by the coefficient of x. Here coefficient of x is 4 upon 5. 
bracket square if you solve it you will get the minus 2 upon 5 bracket square that means third term would be 4 upon 25 add 4 upon 25 on both sides of equation 1 then equation 1 will be x square minus 4x upon 5 plus 4 upon 25 is equal to 7 upon 5 plus here also I will add 4 upon 25 4 upon 25 you will see here it is a square of a binomial x minus 2 upon 5 bracket square cross check your answer use your a minus b bracket square uh, formula and you check it you will get the same state is equal to now make the denominators equal to make the denominators equal i will multiply here by 5 7 5 is a 35 plus 4 upon 25 x minus 2 upon 5 bracket square is equal to 39 upon 25 Taking square root, on both sides, you will get x minus 2 upon 5 on LHS is equal to plus or minus root 39 upon 5. 5 square root, 25 square root is 5. Take minus 2 upon 5 on RHS, you will get x is equal to 2 upon 5 plus or minus root 39 upon 5. x is equal to 2 upon 5, 2 plus root 39 upon 5 or x is equal to 2, now I take negative, minus root 39 upon 5. Therefore, roots are 2 plus root 39 upon 5 and 2 minus root 39 upon 5. Students, based on this completing square method, can solve it. The practice said 2.3.